Okay, did the quick soak on my red beans. And now it's about, uh, I think I started this at about nine o'clock and I'm letting this sit. I put a few bay leaves in here and I'm gonna let this sit until about two o'clock and then I'm gonna cook it. Shouldn't take very long, I'll keep you posted. So after soaking uh, nearly all day, you know, from uh, nine o'clock to about two o'clock, I drained all the water off and rinsed it, and then I refilled it to double the water again over the beans. And I've cooked those for a couple hours until they're tender. Sometimes you can get away with an hour and a half, but these are really tender now, they're perfect. So I'm gonna drain this water off and my beans are ready for use. So I'm sauteing one chopped onion, four mini peppers, and three cloves of garlic that have been minced. This is gonna go to the chili. This will be added to the chili when I get it sauteed and tender. Today I'm using spaghetti sauce mix since I don't have any chili sauce mix. And then I'm gonna use two cans of tomato sauce and two cans of diced tomatoes. And I'll probably add three to four tablespoons of chili powder and some water to rinse out the cans, maybe a half a can of water to a can. I added uh, two tablespoons of ground cumin, and then I also added some chopped up cilantro, about a half a package. Now I'm gonna let the chili simmer for a couple of minutes, up to a half hour. Could be longer because the longer these things are together the better it gets like tomorrow it's going to be excellent the garlic and everything will what you could also add into this is celery and you know any other the vegetables that you like eggplant is great if you want to substitute meat but um, the spaghetti sauce worked out okay you just need to add cumin and uh chili powder to make it chilly. Okay, I think with, I'm gonna call this done.